Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Daily News Clips. As I get more into this and, and begin to get a grasp of what I'm trying to accomplish, um, <clears throat> I have started making lists of things that I want you to know about and rather than show you a bunch of uh, stuff on the screen, you know, links and things like that, unless there's a video I want to show you. But other than, the, other than a video that I might want to show you, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read you my list and I'll put the links in the description so that you can go follow up on any or all of these as you wish. So here's my news items for the day. Journalists have begun being arrested for being journalists. <laughs> yeah, I know. It kind of blows my mind, too. But uh, Catherine Herridge, Herridge uh, of Fox News has been arrested because she refuses to reveal a source. How, how does that make any sense? How does that make any sense at all? We don't arrest journalists for not revealing sources. And Steve Baker, who's been investigating J6 since it happened, has been arrested and charged with four misdemeanors for his activities during January 6th. Four misdemeanors, and they put him in handcuffs and leg cuffs and perp walked him into the courtroom. A journalist. I tell you, it's getting bad, folks. It's really getting bad. Uh, next article. It's a it's a Twitter. Uh, it's a it's a link to Twitter that I'm giving you for the journalist thing. This next article is from. Um, let's see, from Racket News. So it's it's a behind a paywall. You won't be able to read it unless you have a subscription. But uh, I'm going to quote something here. Tom, I'll start with you. Began Mika Brzezinski. I think she's on CNN, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I don't watch the major news TV, so I, I can't keep these people straight. She says, why, now listen to this now, why are rural white voters a threat to democracy at this point? Think about that for a minute. Voters, voters are a threat to democracy. And again, I'll point out, we're not a democracy, we're a constitutional republic. But how in the world can voters, voters, people who vote, be a threat to democracy? Think about that for a minute. What does that say about the mindset of these people? Holy crow. I, I just, I'm, I'm mind boggled. Um... Oh, I put this note out of order, so i got to read it to you now. U.S. District Judge Christopher Cooper imposed a daily fine of $800 for each day that Catherine Herridge withholds the names of her sources, source or sources, for the Fox News articles penned nearly seven years ago. So she wrote articles seven years ago, and now the judge is telling her she has to reveal her sources. This is unprecedented. This, this, this is crazy. This is insane that this is happening in America. Next article. Jack Smith pushes the court not to ask jurors whom they voted for in 2020. <laughs> he is trying hard. He, he's really trying hard. He's, got, he's doing everything in his power to get Trump and he may succeed. I don't know. I don't know if he will or not. But links will be in the description. Uh, here's one that uh, the juxtaposition of these two struck me as interesting. Far left activists stormed the Seattle City Council meeting demanding more money for illegal aliens. Meanwhile, on the opposite coast, wealthy Boston residents are angry against a migrant about a migrant shelter that that will be uh, opened up in their own neighborhood. I love these NIMBY folks. Yeah, I want all of this social media, uh, social justice stuff to happen. I just don't want it to happen around me. 
Don't mess with me, but you can do it to the others. Oh, don't you just love people like that? Uh, here's another interesting article. After years of denial, Hunter Biden finally acknowledges that Joe Biden was the big guy in his $5 million China deal. I don't know. I, I don't I don't think that I don't think Biden's any of the Bidens are ever going to go to jail. Uh, not unless we clean out the do Department of Justice totally. But we'll see. And in the last article, which I thought was a wonderful piece of irony, Biden has bowed to climate activists and halted the export of liquefied natural gas because of a falsified scientific research paper. And according to a climate activist, this is a bad move because it hurts poorer nations. <laughs> so the climate activists now are fighting with each other. Oh, it's a wild and crazy, nutso world we live in, isn't it? I'm telling you. <laughs> The news headlines just make you go, what? <laughs> you can't even understand it anymore. It's crazy. Well, at least I have you viewers. And for you, I pray that you'll be abundant, that you'll live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll let your request be known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.